Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here using my let's play of Pokemon 3D. And in what has started to become kind of a recurring theme in this series, I still have yet to um, do any kind of grinding, especially with uh, my Ekans. But, you know, I just kind of, I'm kind of trying to save that for a period of time in between updates, which there was actually just an update today or yesterday or within the past few days. Um, I don't remember exactly when it was done, but it was sometime recently. And it wasn't a major update or anything like that, so that's why I didn't pay that close of attention to it. It was mainly just bug fixes and stuff like that that kind of would otherwise hinder my progression in the game. So that was nice, I guess, that I just happened to coincidentally wait to do some of the later areas here until after the bug fixes came out. And it looks like I'm actually going to get a little bit of experience here, because I am still a higher level than this not to, so... I can effectively at least train my Raticate a little bit, and hopefully some of my other guys in this, uh, whatever route this is, 45, 46, something like that, maybe? For I want to say 46, but I could be wrong. Anyways, though, in this video, I will be more or less going to, uh... The ice path, the next major area in the game. So I probably won't. No, I definitely won't get through all of it in you know one video. But um, it's not super long by any means. It's just I'm probably going to mess up a lot, especially since everything is in 3D. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to get around. <laughs> I feel like, uh, since in fact I usually have. Uh, difficult enough of a time just uh, trying to do it in the normal game, so I probably, I mean, I shouldn't say stuff like that, because it's probably not as hard as I remember it being, and I don't want to make it sound too hard or anything like that, it's just, you'd have to do a little bit more thinking and use logic and stuff, and I tend to not always do that that well, so I guess we'll just see when we get there. Actually, most of this video might just be me battling rambling on about updates and stuff. So actually, I don't think I ever talked about update 0.35. Yes, I think that's the most recent content update, at least. Um, so that added in the ice path, I think, like I said. it. Well, I don't know about completing Mount Mortar, but at least added in the a, um, the Karate King event, which, I again, that's something else that I basically, along with all the grinding for like my uh, Ekans and some of my other weaker Pokemon, that I'd like to do in between updates if I have the chance is go check out Mount Mortar and uh, do the uh, Karate King event where hopefully he gives me a Tyro. I'm pretty sure that's what he does in the, in the regular game. So I, I'm assuming that's what he meant, the uh, the creator of this game meant when he said that he had completed it or whatever. So um, we got that to look forward to, I suppose. And then what else is there? Um, oh, the Dragon's Den and the 8th Johto Gym have been completed, so that's another thing that I will be getting to, you know, in the near future. Um, and speaking of updates, I know I just mentioned that uh, the update after the one I was just talking about, 0 .35, 0 .2, I think it is, um, added in a lot of like bug fixes and stuff. But it sounds like, I could be wrong here, but it sounds like it may not be that much longer until the uh, the next content update. I, I mean, maybe I'm just reading a little too much into it, but I don't know, it sounds like basically he just, he was working on uh, the content and stuff, but he didn't have, like, the, um, some of the things, I guess I should say, that he wanted to get done for the next update done yet when he released the bug fixes, so that's why we haven't gotten a new update yet, and it's been, I think it's been maybe about a month, maybe, since the last update, the last content update, I guess I should say, um, but, uh, so hopefully it'll be coming soon, and I would guess that it would probably be the Elite Four, maybe, the Pokemon League, I guess I should say, um, and that kind of stuff going to, uh, you know, walking around, well, I guess it, that's actually quite a bit of ways, 
Um, because I forgot, you have to trek through Kanto some quite a bit before you get to Elite Four. So as long as it's just like the, um, the, uh, the waterfall cave area where uh, you cross over into Kanto and like all that patch of land in between, I'd be perfectly okay if that was, you know, it for the next update. But, oh hey, I just realized it's raining. So, I'm going to assume that weather affects my moves. I don't know if that's been implemented or not yet, but I would assume if weather has been implemented, surely the, you know, weather and move combinations and stuff have also been implemented. Um, not like I needed it, because I was obviously going against a Charmeleon who was weak to surf anyways, but nevertheless, um, I'm actually going to circle around a little bit. And, ooh, an Ultra Ball. I just realized I haven't caught any Pokemon in a while either. I just haven't battled any Pokemon in a while, I feel like. Now that I really think about it, because, um, I was in the radio tower and stuff like that, and, I don't know, it was a long time span in between uh, some of the parts there for a while. I just kind of took a little bit of a break because I thought I was going to, uh, be able to do some, uh, some training, but then that kind of didn't pan out. I've been a little busier than I anticipated, so I just decided to go ahead and move on with the series, and like I said, just do some training later. But I probably should do that soon, because I'm sure the wild Pokemon are probably stronger than my Ekans is by this point. Nevertheless, like I said, I will get it done eventually. It's just a matter of time. I'm actually going to switch back to my Flappy now. And battle this Fisherman. Ack, you made me lose a Poliwag. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm obviously going to defeat you, because that's pretty logical. And... Wait, what did it use? I didn't pay any attention. I, I just assumed, I guess, that I was going to attack first, but I didn't. I guess Flappy's not super... Oh, Water Pulse. Um, Flappy's not super super fast or anything like that. Not to mention I'm only a level ahead of it, but... I don't know. I still always think, like, electric types... I always associate electric types with being fast, even though that's obviously not the case. And speaking of being fast, power of one. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna... Well... Oh. What? I thought I hit cancel or something. Nah, I don't know. Who cares? Like I said, I'm not, like, overly fast compared to these other guys, it seems like, anyways. I mean, if I was at a much higher level, then I would consider it, but... Yeah. Oh! Critical hit? No. Okay, I just did a lot of damage. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that. I'm curious to know what uh, Fairy-type moves have been implemented, because I didn't exactly pay attention to uh, see if that, whatever update that was, two updates ago, maybe, said any, like said what they were or whatever. But... Oh, I'm confused. No, wait. It's confused? What? Something's not right with that. Because I know Water Pulse sometimes causes confusion, but I'm pretty sure it occasionally causes confusion, or has a chance of causing confusion, I guess I should say, on, like, the, the defending Pokemon. Oh, and now Seeking's confused. Whoa, <laughs> what? Oh, I'm confused as well. So I guess... I don't know, something must be weird with the confusion physics, because that doesn't seem right at all. It's like, we're both confused. So, that's something that probably needs to be fixed. Uh, I wonder if they know, I, I would assume they know about it, because I can't be the only one experiencing this problem. But, you never know. I mean, it's, it's oh, obviously really tough to, uh, Dang it. It's really tough to uh, make a game. Well, I don't really know because I haven't made a game. But I'm, I'm assuming that it's really tough to make a game. So, you know, like I said all along, you can't really complain too much. And it's free, which, I mean, you really can't complain too much about that. So, it'd be different, you know, if you had to pay for it, although that probably would run into some legal problems because I don't, <laughs> I don't think Nintendo would be too happy about that. Even though, like I've said before, I think it'd be really cool if they, like, kind of went off of, like, this idea or something like that. Or, you know, like, maybe they could, like, I don't know, do something like this, I guess I should say. I just think it'd be really cool. 
They don't necessarily have to copy it like... Uh, no, I don't want to surf. I knew that was going to happen eventually if I wandered too close to the water there. I'd accidentally step into it, but... Ah, well. Let me actually heal my... Oh, wait, nope. Bag. Heal... Still got quite a bit of moon milk left, but... I am starting to run low. I guess I should have just used a super potion there, because I didn't have to heal that much health, but oh well. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Yep. So, at least my Flappy gets a bit of training here. Last few fights. I think I might be getting closer to, yep, growing another level. Unfortunately, though, Pidgeotto is probably going to be a two-hit kill, and oh, that actually didn't do as much as I thought it would. Yeah. Okay, so that, yeah, it's a pretty solid to get kill. Um, yeah, oh, critic, yep, yeah, crud. Oh uh, well, I mean, it didn't kill me, so I guess I can't complain too much. But, let's see here. Well, oh, that was pretty decent stat gains, I guess. I can't complain too much. Um, I'm just gonna go with Browgator. I don't really want my Flappy to go down. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll really need him for any of the, like, or I don't even remember if there are trainers in the, uh, the ice path, but there could be. Um. Nevertheless, hey, route, 40, or route 42, level 42. Um, I don't know why I even said that. Okay. Anyways, I guess that's possibly a sign that it's time for me to wrap up this video in an extremely anticlimactic manner because I talked about how I was going to go into the ice path, which is right here, I believe. Yep. So this is Route 44. I was really getting ahead of myself. I said like 46 or something. Um, but I'll be taking that on in the next part. So, I mean, I guess I kind of wanted to start on the ice path, but I forgot there's that whole little area with trainers and stuff so I'll just kind of divide it up like that anyways though that's going to be it for this video so if you guys like this video I'd really appreciate you leaving a like and potentially subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future videos and content and stuff and as always I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for watching